Hello everybody, I am back. So I decided that I would show you kind of my favorite books of 2016. 2016 was a pretty good year for me. Um, you know, just kind of in general all around. Obviously there was always bumps in the road, but it was actually not bad. Knock on wood. But I did get a chance to go like just dive headfirst back into reading. Sometimes you get too busy, you can't read. I love to read and I would just devour a book a week if I could. But yeah, so I have my favorite books of 2016 and I hope you guys like it. So, first off, I'm going to start, let's go back down here. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start with, I think I actually showed this in a previous favorites. This book, this is, I took the dust cover, that's the word, off of it, but this is a Kim Harrison, The Witch With No Name, Love, this series. It's part of the Hollow series from Kim Harrison. Amazing series. I have been reading it for the past God knows how many years. Like, it has been a while. I, I think there's like, I want to say there's like 13 books in it. I'm not sure. But there are so many books in the series. I got so attached to the characters. Um, there was a moment somewhere in the middle, like, Something happened with one of the carrots, and I remember crying because I was so attached to that character, and I was like, no! <laughs> so, yeah, this book series is amazing. Kim Harrison is great at just kind of this humor, so it makes you giggle. Like, there's times where you're like, ha, 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 and you're actually, like, outwardly giggling, and people are looking at you because you're weird, but great book series. You have to start at number one, obviously, but this is the last book in the series, and I did read it. I may have procrastinated. Um, I started reading it when I did it in my favorites a while ago. But then like there's that thing in my head that was like, but it's the last book, I can't finish it. So I kind of stopped halfway through, read a couple other books, <laughs> a lot of other books. And then when I found out that Kim Harrison was coming out with like a, I think it's like a prequel series. It's a series to how like kind of leads into like the background on this one. So super excited about that. I saw that she was releasing that series so I may have finished this book but I love it. I was like at the end I was like oh! and you, you just kind of like you love it. So one of my all-time favorite authors as well so that's good. I have one of her other books as well. I haven't started reading it yet, but I did order it in one of my batch orders from Barnes & Noble, so I will put a link in the, the bottom to her page. And I love, love, love these books. Um, just amazing series. All right, so next book. I'm gonna go with this one. So these are, I have a couple of other books. I read all of these. There's three books that I read from, I am going to mess up her last name. It's Sarah, Gruen? 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 <sighs> I'm gonna mess up that. Yeah, I knew I was gonna mess up the name. So she has a couple of, of books. Um, which one? This one was first. Riding Lessons was first. I saw the horse. I ride horses. I saw the horse and I was like, oh, I'm reading it. So yeah, there's that. And then this is the second book to this book. So you have to read this book first. Then there's Flying Changes. Yet again, a horseback riding book. Um, if you, even if you don't like horses, it's not like it throws in your face, right? It's, it's part of her life, but it's not thrown in your face. She also wrote Water for Elephants. You may know that name because she wrote Water for Elephants, which I did read. I don't have it with me because I may have forced one of my best friends to take the book and read it. So that's why I don't have it with me. She's a good author. <laughs> I have this look on my face for a reason. Um, she's a good author, I like her books, but it's like these two especially, the main character, in real life I probably would have just punched her in the face. She, <laughs> it's, I think that's the thing, I think that's, that's a skill though as a writer, is to be able to write a character that everybody hates but you can't stop reading the book. I don't know if everybody hates her, I hated her, but I couldn't stop reading the book. And I couldn't stop reading the second book. So that's a skill, woman. Bravo to you, because I don't know how you did it. But yeah, she drove me up a wall. The main character drove me completely nuts just with her choices and things like that. And 
yet I couldn't stop reading. I couldn't put the books down. So yeah, I think I finished this first book in like three days. Yeah. So yeah, she's a great writer. She's good at it. I just hated her character. But Water for Elephants, I did enjoy the characters. I did enjoy the richness of the story. So Water for Elephants was a very good book as well. I will highly suggest that. Um, I'm going to watch the movie too. I haven't watched the movie yet, and I do need to watch the movie. It's probably going to ruin the book, but love the book. So there are those books right there. Next one, I'm going to go with, ooh, because I dropped stuff. I'm going to go with this one. All right, so it was kind of one of those things. You know how, like, when you're looking on book websites and then, like, they'll put it at the bottom? People also like this. So I think this was one of those. I found this. The Witch's Daughter. These, I want to say, I'm trying to remember which ones it was. I think this author, Sarah Gruen, I'm going to say it again, I can't remember. Um, I think Water for Elements was a NaNoWriMo book. And I'll put a link into NaNo NaNoWriMo if you don't know what it is. But I think that was a, I want to say that was a NaNoWriMo book. I feel like this was too. I'm not sure. I love these things. Like, I love books that become, you know, come from NaNoWriMo because it's, if you don't know what it is, it's the month of November. You know, it's a challenge to literally just throw your words on a page. <laughs> just write a book, start to finish, not editing, just putting the words on the page, and then go back and edit later. And that's, I think, how you get some of the best books. These are people who probably wouldn't have written these books if they didn't have that challenge, if they didn't have that push. So I really, really love it. I love the project. I love everything. I actually am doing it. That's what the, the cluster of papers are back there. So yeah, I do love it. But this is The Witch's Daughter. I love the cover of this one. First off, that is what drew me in, is the cover is stinking cute. The Witch's Daughter, I was like, hmm. So that makes you read the back. Read the back, and I was like, okay, this could be interesting. So it's, yeah, if you don't know, I don't know if, you know, any of you are into this, but it's kind of like, uh, she was the witch, the witch's daughter, the daughter, um, was born in 1628 or lived during 1628. So, and then it goes up to current times. So it's really cool. It kind of goes through different stages of history, which I do like. I love history and I love being able to like read period pieces. So this was actually quite a good book. I loved the characters in this. Um, it wasn't a funny book. Like, Kim Harrison characters are hysterical. Love the characters. They're funny. They're, you know, like your best friend, you know. This one still liked the characters, but they were more serious. I don't know what that noise was. All right. But they're more serious. So I did quite enjoy that. I, I enjoyed the, the change in pace with this book. So there's also several other books. Um, this has, you know, Return of the Witch, which I think it just came out, um, is I think it's a second book to this book. So there's other books. Uh, what is it called? Like The Winter's Witch or something like that? Ooh, I'll put those in the comments because I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, so there's other books, but I think they're about different witches. But then this one has a second one called The Return of the Witch. So I'm waiting for that one. I'm, I'm going to get that one and read it. But yeah, love that book. That was actually a surprise for me. I was kind of like very hesitant on that just because it was more serious. So love that one. Next, I have Me Before You. Such a cute book. Oh my God, I loved it. So Me Before You, great romantic book. Loved the characters in this. Thought it was super cute. I was not the biggest fan of the ending. If you know how it ends, shh. But yeah, it was a great book altogether. Loved it. I can't wait to see the movie. Just I can't say anything better about it. I couldn't put it down. I kept wanting to read it every five seconds. So there's that. Last but not least, the current book I am actually still reading. See that right there? Still reading it. Divergent. I saw the first two movies. I was kind of like, this is kind of a cool storyline. I want to read it. Yeah. So my camera just died. So that's what that kind of little cut in the middle was. Um... But yeah, I was talking about Divergent. Saw the first two movies, liked the movies, liked the storyline. It kind of does remind you of Hunger Games a little bit. 
<clears throat> I and I loved Hunger Games, the movies and the books, so why not read it? So I decided to read it, picked up this book. I'm already halfway, eh, just about halfway through. When did I start this? Like Friday? So three days ago? I feel like that's what it was. It's good. It is really good. It's easy to read. A lot of times, I read a lot of classic literature, you know, so you have to use your brain. So I feel like when I can read something, and it's not that it's like dumbed down or anything, but it's just, it flows. Like Harry Potter, super easy to read just because it's just smooth and you don't have to think about anything. You just fall into this world. I love that. When writers can make you just fall into worlds that are not yours, that's what I love. Um, the Hobbit, couldn't fall into that world. <laughs> love the movies, could not fall into that world. <laughs> it was just, I kept starting, stopping, starting, stopping. I couldn't finish reading it. It drove me up the wall that it was just kind of my brain needed a break. So it's kind of like with these, I like, these are easy to fall into the world. These are easy to see. Like I can visually just see everything in my head and everything like that. I love that about these books. So I will be reading the whole series. Love this book so far. This is great. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm reading at the moment. And those are the books I have for you. For my favorite books for 2016. Yeah, there's a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then Water for Elephants, which I don't have because I shoved it in the face of my best friend and said read it. <laughs> but yeah, so that is, that's a lot of books. But I loved being able to read these. These are all great books, emotional books. Like it goes anywhere from good suspense, you know, there's suspense in this, to amazing, just, just heartbreaking love. Like it just makes you fall in love with everybody to a good serious, it's not super serious. I keep saying serious, but it's not super serious. There's some fun parts in it, but it's not like Kim Harrison where you feel like you're giggling half the time and I love it. Um, and then writing lessons where, like I said, I don't get it. I absolutely hate the character, hate the main character, but couldn't stop reading. So those are my favorite books for 2016. I hope you guys get a chance to check any of these books out. Leave little comments in there, which books you liked, which you didn't, if you have already read any of these. Let me know. If anybody is super excited about the new Kim Harrison series, please let me know, because I am so excited about it. Um, and that's it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video, and I hope to see you guys later. Have a good one.